This is Mahmoud Hassan Maras. Welcome to another solution title of solders. Today we will going to solve this theory problem. This is the isometric view. This is the top view. This is the front view and this is the right side view. First of all we will start drawing from this part which is we can see in the from the front view this rectangle and this semicircle. This rectangle is 105 by 70 unit long so first we will draw it from the top plane so go to top plane and select sketch we want to draw it directly rectangle first we will draw a center line from that we will offset it and draw the rectangle first of all select uh, a center line and dimension it 105 unit then press okay now go to offset entities now as we can see it has 70 so in both side it has 60 so in both side is it is 30 by 30 unit so we will offset it 30 unit in both side now select 30 and select this line and now select bidirectional and now press ok now select line and now join those both of the line now select the circle after selecting the circle we can see that the circle is uh, 30 unit so as we can see that the circle is 30 unit select this center line and select here now trim it by both sides press ok as we can see this red sign now we will delete this dimension now normal to it now we can see it has extrude boss of 10 now go to features and then extrude boss it to 10 unit now we can see here we have a small rectangle which has 10 unit of dimension and extrude boss of 20 unit so now we will select this face and now sketch now normal to it now select this line and now convert into this now offset it i will offset it by 10 dimension 10 and now select this line you stop the bidirectional and select the reverse and press ok now end the both of that now isometric it now go to features and then extrude boss now extrude boss it to 20 unit now give 20 unit ok now here we can see that here if we has a big rectangle and with a semi circle the rectangle is 70 by 150 so in the same manner we will also draw this first we will draw a center line then we will offset here 75 unit and then 75 unit okay now select this face and select sketch now normal to it now select this center line and place this center line here to here okay now select offset entities after selecting this now we will as it is 150 so half will be 75 so dimension it 75 unit now bidirectional it press ok now close one side okay now other side we have a semicircle the circle is also of diameter of 150 so we will first draw a circle then we will cut it to as our necessary unit okay now select trim option now trim the necessary part as we can see the dimension is red so it means uh, we have to delete one dimension so i will delete this dimension okay 
now isometric it now select features and extrude boss here you can see it has a extrude boss of 10 so i will extrude boss it to 10 okay 10 unit okay here we can see we are getting the lower part so here we can see we here have some extrude cut in the upper part so we'll cut this we'll draw this first we'll draw a center line then we'll offset these lines here and here and we also offset this part also then we'll extrude cut it so now select now select the face and then sketch now normal to it as we will going to offset it so we'll first draw them some center lines so select this point and draw a center line from midpoint and we'll also draw another center line uh, from where we have drawn the semicircle okay now we'll offset it here you can say see that here it is offset of 10 and here also 10 and here also 10 this side and this side but here we can say that 5 plus 5 total offset is 10 so we'll offset this side later first we'll offset this part this part okay now select offset entries now offset this so we select the dimension of 10 now uncheck the bidirectional select reverse now select this part then this part and now this one press ok now we will offset of from mid line so offset of 5 5 in both directional select bidirectional and also select this center line now press ok now we will cut all the unnecessary part so select the trim option now untrim trim the unnecessary part and here we also trim this and this part also okay now trim in this side trim in upper part and go and trim the lower part okay now we have gotten the shape now go to features and now extrude cut okay here we have gotten the extrude cut now we can see this part in here we will have to draw a cylindrical shape so the mid surface you have to cut is to cut the mid surface so i will select a rectangle whose dimension will be 70 70 in both sides so i will select this and sketch now normal to it now select a center rectangle now dimension is 70 by both sides 70 and 70 now normal to it now go to features and extrude cut and press ok now we can see we have a flat of 30 in both side and here you can see flat of 30 and in the outside i have flat of 40 in this here okay now go to fillet now fillet select 30 and fillet this one and this one which will form a semicircle now also in other side too we have filleted the 30 now we will fillet 40 now go to fillet again now dimension it 40 now select both corner this corner and the other corner this one now press ok now normal to it now we can see we have done flatting this side now we have another flat which is 10 in here in here and in here here and here and here all of the sides so we'll again go to fillet features and now we'll 
use 10 unit fillet 10 unit fillet select all the corners so i am now selecting all the corners also this corner and this one okay now place okay now control 7 and isometric view it so we have also done the second phase now we have left the cylindrical shape so here we can see the lower part of the cylinder shape circle shape which has a diameter of 20 so first we will select this face and now select a sketch and now normal to it after that now we select circle and now we will dimension it dimension it to 20 unit now again normal to it go to features and now extrude pause as we can see the total length is 80 so as we have drawn this shape so only 10 shape is done 10 unit and we have another upper shape which is 10 also so the cylindrical circle shape will be 80 minus 10 and minus 10 which will be 60 now you need to select 80 minus 10 and minus 10 which will be 60 if we see from the side view we can also have a clear view clear view so again we, i will go to isometric view now i will draw the top shape in the top shape here i can see a circle which is of 15 radius and we have another shape like this in the upper part So we will have to, I will draw first this part, now with a diameter of 30. So select this top plane and top surface and now sketch, now normal to it, now select a circle and dimension it 15 diameter into, uh, 15 radius into 2 which is 30 diameter. Now press OK. Now select line and join all of this line. Also join line in this side also. As we have joined this line, we have some unnecessary lines. So I will go to trim option. Now I will trim all the unnecessary part. trim this side also as it in is is it is not a close shape so i will close the shape boundary so close the boundary okay now also in this side press okay now i will going to isometric view now we can shape we have drawn the shape as we can see the shape is 10 in unit extrude boss so i will go to features then extrude boss and extrude boss it to 10 unit now press ok if we want to see from the top view we can see also the shape but our shape isn't complete now we have to draw this vertical line so this vertical line also are 10 by 10 uh, rectangle so i will select from this face and now select sketch now i will normal to it i won't draw all the lines so i will convert entities so i will select all the lines select this line and also select this line this line and this line now convert entities now we have all the lines we will have to draw another line of 10 so i will use the offset entities select all the lines now 
I will offset by 10. Let's select 10. Now uncheck the bidirection option. Now select reverse. Now press OK. So lines are drawing. So I will now close the boundaries in all the shape. Now select this point and this point. Also this point and this point. We have done one rectangle. Now go to for the second rectangle. Uh, we have done the second rectangle. Then now also close the boundary of third rectangle. Now in the same way the fourth rectangle. Select this point and this point. Close the boundary. Now select this point and this point. Now press OK. Now I will isometric view it. So now we'll as we can see it has a extrude boss of from top to middle surface. So I will extrude boss it from top to middle. Go to features now extrude boss and select uh, up to surface. I will extrude boss it to up to sur this surface. Okay. In the now we will the, select the direction to and select up to surface. Now I will select another surface for lower end. Okay. The total extrude boss has been selected. Now press OK. Now we have many things like fillet. Here we can see it has a fillet of 15 here and also fillet of 15 here in here and in here so i will first do the fillet so go to fillet and select dimension of 15 unit now select all the sides in these sides and also these sides and now also select in this sides and also in this sides the final one also sees the upper part and this part now press ok now we'll again isometric it now we can see we have another fillet of 25 which is in this inner part so i will again fillet it go to fillet and now fillet it by 25 units so now select all the inner corner now i will select all the corners okay here you can see the preview so i will press okay we are quite done so our final flip so here we can see we have a fillet of 5 in the inner side. So we will fillet of 5. Go to fillet and select unit 5 unit. Now now select this inner side and also this inner side and other two inner side also. This one and and this one so we have split all the inner side now press ok now normal to it yeah, isometric it so we can see that we have finished the shape thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different